Hi everyone, it's Lucy from My Crazy Craft Life and today I'm here with a design team post for Fairy Stamper. Today I'm going to be making this super simple card, but I think it just turned out really, really cute. I am going to be using Possible, Eris, Musical Walkway, and then Flower Vine Stencil. I am using colored cardstock, 100 pound, to create the card base, and I'm actually going to be doing the image and everything right on the card base itself, which again helps to make this just really a simple, easy, quick card. And I'm going to be kind of doing this in a green palette, just with different tones and colors. So I'm starting off with Distress Oxide ink peeled paint to put on over the stencil and to get that color in there just to give it some kind of background. And when I do that, I try to remember to always grab a piece of scratch paper or something to hold onto it, mostly because, particularly with distress inks, you can get your fingerprints with any inks, really, but distress inks, you really can get your fingerprints on there. So then I'm going to grab the musical walkway, and originally I was thinking of putting it above the fairy, but then I decided I was going to have her walk on it, since I guess it is a walkway. And I'm going to use Pine. It's a Heroes Art um, Archival ink that I am using. And I'm going to stamp that a couple times to make sure I got a nice crisp image there. And then the sentiment itself, I'm going to be using Versifying Onyx Black ink to stamp the sentiment. And again, I'm going to stamp that a couple times because I want to make sure that sentiment is really bold and pops out there. And that's why I wanted to do that in the black. Now, one of the things I did a little different was I decided to use brown for the fairy. I wanted it not to be black, but I also didn't want to use another tone of green. So I went with a brown because I still thought it was kind of in the same family as the greens. And I use the archival um, potting soil is what it's called. And that is what I use to stamp the image of the fairy. So I'm going to, again, stamp that a couple times. And particularly because this is a solid stamp, you really want to make sure that you're getting all of those, or I mean all of the image stamped completely so that you don't have some you know, pockets in there. Now, you'll see I grabbed the green and I stamped, I was almost stamped the green on top of it, but luckily I caught myself and was able to clean that off and use the brown again. Not that I really think the green would have mattered too, too much, but in any case. So then I grabbed some alcohol markers again, all in green tones, and I'm going to color the wings. And I'm using the darkest ones towards the bottom of the wings. And the one that's kind of hanging over as well. And then the mid-tone and then the lightest one on the top. Then I'm going to take my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen and I'm going to use that on the wings. I am going to use that on all of the musical notes. And then I am also going to use it on the sentiment to finish off the card. And that will be it for this card. So thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope that you like to see some simple cards once in a while. You know, every card we make doesn't have to take two hours. And I think sometimes we get ahead of ourselves in thinking that we always have to make these big elaborate cards. And sometimes just a simple card to say some, a quick note to somebody is exactly what you need. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can check out more videos. You can check out Facebook and go to the Fairy Hugs page and check things out there. You also will see lots of inspiration, not only from the design team, but from other people posting as well. So again, thank you for joining me and have a great day.